For nearly seven years, federal oversight has been slowly mending. The Cleveland Police Department and the latest semi-annual report details why a federal monitor feels the change in the department needs is far from finished. Marissa Sines explains. In the newest semi-annual report summarizing the Department of Justice in Cleveland, it seems change hasn't come. The 144-page report details slowly evolving, quote, significant and critical areas that remain in noncompliance, including accountability, search and seizure, transparency and oversight, plus more. We have a significant amount of very progressive police policy here in Cleveland, thanks to the consent decree and the work of the monitoring team and the Community Police Commission and others. It's clear that the city of Cleveland, uh, Cleveland Police Department is nowhere near being in compliance. Um, that hearing uh, made sure that we all understood how far of compliance that they were. Jason Goodrick, the executive director for the Community Police Commission, echoes hurdles detailed in the report, the COVID-19 pandemic among them, but says, nonetheless, some progress has been made. So no one can debate that there's been a lot of policy written. And now the data is going to have to prove whether that policy is really being followed, if it's really working on the streets. In a first page letter, court appointed monitor Hassan Aden details areas such as use of force and crisis intervention that have reached reform that quote near substantial compliance. However, Cleveland civil rights attorney Stanley Jackson says the public deserves more seven years down the road. We push for change. And it looks like we're not getting that change at this moment. I would think that considering that the DOJ was involved, and we have a monitoring team and a federal judge, that the city would have tried to do more to comply. The report commends a new city consent decree implementation team initiated by Mayor Justin Bibb and his collaboration with the monitoring team. But also notes that as Bibb's administration is beyond a transition phase, a quote uptick in pace is expected. Bibb was not present at the hearing, later seen at the Browns Thursday night home game. Timestamps on his personal Twitter account show tweets while the hearing was taking place. Now, these hearings and reports happen in our release twice a year. Jackson and others have been critical of Bibb for not attending the hearing uh, yesterday, especially as he campaigned on a platform of police reform. Now, a spokesperson, spokesperson for the mayor has not responded to our questioning of why he did not prioritize this hearing, but they did tell us that the city's law department confirmed the court did not request Bibb's attendance. It's important to note that this is costing taxpayers a lot of money, nearly $60 million so far. And as this reports detail, there is a lot more work to be done. All right. Thank you. I'm sure you stay on top of it, Marissa. Thanks.